Hey guys, Jan here in the North View Model Shop, and it's Sunday night, and it means it's time to gossip. All right, guys, we're gonna try our best. We got the cold that is just starting to kick us in the testicular region, so we'll give our best shot. So hopefully everything pans out for us, guys. Great week um, of uh, information here. Uh, we've been busy as anything here, not in the shop, but in the house. So it was a bit of a struggle to keep up. Man, you guys were posting videos like crazy. And, and the Facebook pages were exploding, so lots of great information for this week. So, without further ado, let's get rocking and rolling. Guys, Dr. Cranky has really been pushing out the videos this week, and I uh, completed a build of the Dirty Rat, and that thing turned out wicked. Really, really liked how that, uh, how that turned. Um, really, we were a big fan of Dr. Cranky's big and shiny stuff, but his real, real knack, I think, is in that weathering technique. So... Doctor, love that build. Keep them coming. Seems like the doctor has his mojo back and he is almost back to the top of his game as he used to be a few years back. So, getting warm back up, really enjoying seeing things coming that way. Guys, on the topic of Dr. Cranking, uh, he's giving away this super cool 41 Willis that he painted. And um, all you gotta do to get in on the giveaway is post your best build from 2016. Uh, just a video or slideshow, keep it under two minutes for him. And when you just upload it, let him know you put it there, and uh, it goes to a playlist. And on November the 1st, he will pick his favorite. Uh, I believe it's just to pick a favorite. And uh, that body will be headed your way. Now, guys, you only have until tomorrow night, October 31st at midnight, to get that in. So, um, let her have it. We're really excited. And, you know, we really need to get this video done and upload ours. Because here it is, the 30th, and we haven't done it yet. <laughs> Cutting her close there. Half fast. King of the Hill October contest got all fucky. Yeah, apparently there's a contest bot that goes around, finds these contests, and then puts a thousand votes in, 999 votes in for one thing, and then somehow the way it works, these people win, and blah, 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 right? Anyway, that was found. They had to shut the contest down, restart it again, um, and voting went on again. So... Bit of a kick there, but uh, I think uh, I think how fast has got her all straightened out. Uh, running that runs out tomorrow at midnight, and then he's got brand new plans for moving forward. Moving forward with the contest, uh, you'll post your favorite video or your, your video, your, your your photos, whatever the the theme and how it's supposed to go down, and then a random draw will pick the winner, and the winner will receive exclusively. Uh, Chevy Cheeseburgers Model Store gift certificates. So that is pretty sweet. Looking forward to see what's coming out from uh, Half Fast and the King of the Hill. Um, the November theme right now is going to be a Patriot theme, and that's obviously support our veterans being Remembrance Day on the 11th of November. So, guys, make sure you click the links in the description below and uh, head over there and see what you can help out and, and, and take part in. So, keep tuned here. We always have your Half Fast King of the Hill uh, information for you. Uh, Dave Parker, unfortunately, has been diagnosed with squirrel syndrome. Our thoughts and prayers go out to him and his family. Uh, if you have a moment, head over to uh, Scale Model Customs uh, YouTube page, and uh, Dave just put up a video explaining his diagnosis. Andy's Hobby Headquarters just broke 20,000 subs. Congratulations to Andy. That's amazing. Um, his last video he just filmed with a new, I think he said he got the iPhone 7, the one that doesn't explode. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what that's all about, but anyway, it sounds quite interesting. And uh, the camera views on it look really, really great. Close up and zoomed in views, super clear, crystal clear. We watch all of these videos, obviously. Uh, we just cast them to our flat screen TV up in the living room, the family, and then we just listen around and watch model videos. That's how interesting our lives are. But anywho, uh, it was just like watching a, a TV show. So, uh, uh, Andy, great job on the videos and congratulations to the subs. Well deserved. And guys, the latest video that he uh, did building a Israeli tank, Israeli tank, looks super cool. Actually has us really interested in that build. So, uh, way to go. Alright guys, moving on to group Builds. As of right now, we have uh, three that's on the radar. Guys, if you know of any other group builds going on, please let us know. We'd like to support and push those forward. So, the first one is running from November 1st to November 1st of 2017, and that is the Tom Daniels build. And we are really excited and ready to go because we're going to build one of our kind of holy grail kits 
Obviously, this is the Repop, so it's not one of the originals, but it's the Patty Wagon. Kit's been opened up, the trees have been exposed for video filming purposes, but haven't started it. So, really looking forward to that one. It gives an excuse to build that. Uh, get a hold of Dirk Pitts or Classic Plastic 101, uh, and they have a link to what you need to do to get involved in that one. From the Styrene Syndicate is the Silver Screen, November 1st to December 31st. This one is running essentially if it appeared on TV or in the movies. And it's a vehicle, it's fair game. Uh, they've got a special page where you post your, your progress to. There are prizes for this as well. Hold tight, uh, Gil and the Styrene Syndicate are posting out videos just very soon on how to get into it. They also, I guess, outline everything on uh, this past Saturday's show. So guys, you want to pop back through the archives and check out the Saturday Hangout show there, you can get it through there. And then over at ISM, International Scale Modeler, they're having an SU aircraft build running November 14th through December 24th. This sounds super cool. If I remember correctly, and guys, don't kill me, don't, don't hurt me if I don't have it right, but I believe SU would be a Russian aircraft. Uh, I think they had the 22, 24, 30, 33, 34, or something like that. He listed off a few of them that were eligible. And those, if that's what I'm thinking of, those jets and everything look super cool. So, uh, guys, this looks really interesting. We're going to follow this one along. Unfortunately, we have nothing in our stash to, to play along with, but uh, still, we're going to watch that. It looks really great. All right, guys. Time for the Facebook group of the week. Guys, this one's a really cool one. This is NASCAR modeling. Uh, the group is based around, obviously, NASCAR themed builds. So build your NASCARs and post them there. I assume the Atomic Dog is over there and posts all the time because he did a, he kind of got a kick of those things a few years back and that's all he built for the whole year. And uh, he turned out some awesome stuff. So should be over there. Guy, these uh, these builds look super cool and it's really fun to see what they're building because it's obviously, there's not a lot of new NASCAR kits coming out that I've seen, so they're all the older ones and it brings back so many memories of watching uh, racing back in the day. Uh, and it also seems like there's a few guys over there that uh, are really big fans of our favorite driver of all time is Mr. Alan Kowicki and some builds are coming out of that theme, so we're watching that pretty tight. Um, it's a real fun group, guys. If you do want to head over there and join the group, just take a moment, click on the pinned post, and read the rules for, for posting and for sharing your work and for commenting. They run a pretty tight ship over there, guys. No bashing, no, no discrimination. We're there to have fun. It's a great little group to be a part of. So that's the NASCAR modeler, modeling, and that is the Facebook group of the week. All right. Moving on to the Instagram Small Scale Auto Show. And this week's Small Scale Auto Show winner over on Instagram is Iola of the Rock, uh, Rock and Rolla. There's a name for you. With 308 likes, this rig looks absolutely amazing. All the detail on the interior, really great. And the paint job on this thing, as we can see, it looks super clean. Really great bare metal foil work. Congratulations to the Ayatollah of Rock and Rolla over at Instagram Scale Model Auto Show. Guys, great concept here. You submit your photos to the Instagram Scale Small Scale Auto Show. Uh, there's a bit of a backlog to get in, but once you get in, you're, you're posted at random, and uh, the, the post with the most likes wins the contest. So pretty cool concept. Look at this now. What are you doing? I'm doing cat stuff. No, you're licking your ass. Yeah, cat stuff. All right, guys, here it is time now for the Facebook builds that caught our eye this week. This is so much fun. We get to spotlight some really super cool builds uh, of all genres from all necks of the woods. All right, guys, in no particular order, Joe McCarsling posted this on the Northview Mall Shop. This is a BF-105 cut away. Uh, these builds are super cool. So much detail and so much, or so much scratch building going on. It is insane and crazy. Guys, if you really like this BF-109, uh, stay tuned later on, coming, or coming up very soon, we're going to have a spotlight video over at the Northview Mall Shop. YouTube page 
that will uh, show a lot more of Joe's work. Uh, got a chance to look at some very exclusive photos that look amazingly cool. And what he's already got out there, it looks really great. So guys, stay tuned for that really cool stuff. Joshua Tarr over at the Styrene Syndicate with this D9 Israeli Dozer. When we first saw this photo, I thought it was reference material that he had posted until we got looking really close and it's actually the build of the tank. Guys, if you can fool somebody with really, really great photography and a really amazing build, you know it was really great. So congratulations, Joshua. This build really caught our eye. Really, really nice. Jay Cervais over at NASCAR Modeling. The mellow yellow Lumina from Days of Thunder, driven by Cole Trickle. This is a super cool movie and a super cool build. Um, just look at this thing. The decals on it must have been murder. Um, very, very, very great job. Uh, this is top-notch work. Uh, it was a couple of builds from Jay that we uh, we were picking through. It was going to be our favorite. And there was a couple of builds from that group that were front-runners to get a nod. But uh, Jay won this one this week. And uh, what a great build. William Horn with his 135th, or what, from 135th model tanks. Uh, he was uh, crawling around in the crawl space and apparently found a box of some old builds, 35 plus year old builds of his, and uh, share, uh, chose to share them. And uh, this one here I thought was one of his best ones in there. Uh, guy, if this is what you were building 35 years ago, you must be building some super cool, amazingly highly detailed tanks today because, oh my god, this is a nice build. Anyway, congratulations on uh, on finding this stuff, and thank you very much for sharing. Rob Gilsbridge. Sorry if I've got that one all uh, buggered up on us. The Styrene Syndicate is where he posted. This is the Chopped Shop Truck. This is super cool. Chopped red flames. I would love to go on a parts run in that hot rod. Really nice, clean build. Bob Davis at Model Car Builders Club. This is a really nice monogram. 37 pickup. Uh, the, the adding of the rust and a little bit of weathering really adds some personality and character to this really, really neat little build. Congratulations. Nat Shin Nyei from the Panzer page. This is a super cool, amazing build of an exploded view, view of a tiger. Uh, really well done. Really, really cool concept. Allows you to see the interior and everything of this kit. Congratulations. This is really, really cool. Peter Cosgrove at Plastic Model Builders Group with this Hurricat, which I believe must be Hurricane, and Cam Ship Ramp. Uh, this is really cool. The ramp itself just really stood out to me as being super cool. This is one seven tooth scale build, and uh, just the whole kit you able to put together it looks really cool. I love it. Congratulations. Jason Skipper at International Model, Military Model World. This German soldier looked real to me. It, uh, just a really great job. Uh, so much detail, so much time was put into this work to make this soldier just pop and look amazing. Great work. Mark SQ from International Scale Modeler. This is the Mini Art Dozer. Uh, there are so many small parts in this kit. And so much work goes in to make this put together. And he was able to put this little D7 cat together. Looks great. Congratulations on the work. All right, guys. It is time for the Northview Model Shop banner, banner page winner for this week. And guys, this one was extremely difficult. We could not pick this one on our own. We had to pull in uh, some other opinions to pick our favorite for the banner. And this week, it goes to Patrick Von Vinlet with his bug. Uh, this bug, obviously, guys, has seen better days. It looks like it's been around the world a few times and um, just been beat up quite a bit. And the adding of the luggage rack and everything on top just makes it really, really cool. Guys, like we said, it was really, really hard to pick our favorite this week. So much stuff has been posted over at the Facebook page or the group. Uh, and it, we're just loving it. Guys, if you want to get a part of that, hop over to the Northview Model Shop uh, Facebook group. Send in a request to join. We'll get you in on there, guys. Post whatever you want if it relates to models. If you have a YouTube channel and you've got a video out, post it there so we, you can catch it. Uh, if you've got a build in progress, post it there. If you've got a story about modeling, post it there. Love it. We've got all kinds of great support over there. We've got lots of guys there 
tons of knowledge to help out if you ask. If you're looking for a certain kit, we've got Scott Mulligan over at ElmCityHobbies.com who is going to be right there to help somebody get your quote if you would like one. Uh, we're having great fun with it, lots of information. No one's getting any fights yet, so we're having a boss. So that is super cool. All right, guys. What's next? I guess um, what we have on the go right now in the Northview Mall Shop. Uh, it's been a slack week in here. We've had so much going on outside, getting the yard all together, Halloween coming up, taking care of uh, friends and family at the same time. It's not feeling the greatest now. So we didn't get a lot of building in. Also, we've got a build on the go. We really need to get loaded up on the tube so you guys can see what's going on. And I'm waiting for materials. I haven't even placed the order yet, so the ball's in my court to get that done. Once I get the orders in, then we can rock and roll and start building something. But besides that, it's another day in Hollywood. So, guys, if you like what you're seeing, hit that subscribe button. We'd really love to make sure we get videos out to you. You can watch and keep you guys entertained. Guys, hit the like button. Share. We love it when you share. It lets other people see what we're doing. Guys, I have you went over at the Facebook groups. Thank you for letting us post our material there. We love it. We love the opportunity you give to everybody else to see what we have to share. So, guys. Thanks a million. Hopefully we'll get our shit in order and we'll have some stuff out to you guys this week. So, all right. Adios.